I've always wanted to 3D print a tree, but it's not that easy. They're branching, they're not simple things to print. And then I saw these palm trees by 3-5 designs. So the first thing I did was 3D print them on PLA on my new, thanks Elegoo, Neptune 3 Plus. It's a great printer and it's big enough to print all of the sizes of these palms because the actual spread is quite big. Now I did two types, 100% and 75%. And this base looks like this because the filament got tangled, not a printer problem. So the palm itself is made up of four rings of leaves and then these individual leaves that just fit in. The silver grey ones are 100% and the black ones are 75%. But they're flat and we need to fix that. So out comes the heat gun. Now this step is both simple and complicated at the same time. All you have to do is slightly melt the PLA so that it bends and droops. But it's really hard because if you do it too much, it just completely flops. And if you don't do it enough, it's too stiff. The trick is getting it hot enough to bend that central stem and to wilt down your palm fronds so that they look realistic, but not to melt it so much it just hangs loosely. It does take a bit of practice, but not a problem because there's quite a lot of palm leaves to do here. For the construction, you'll need super glue to glue the trunks together and then to glue the trunks to the base. But before you go any further, this is actually a great time to paint everything whilst it's in pieces and you can get the paint into every nook and cranny. I used alligator clips on sticks to hold everything ready for painting. Once they were all in place, I took them outside and sprayed them on my bins using just two green paints I happen to have in my stash. There's kind of a dull green underneath and then a brighter green on top. They're not perfect colours, but they're what I had. Because this is a spray paint, I didn't bother priming them. But if you're going to hand paint them, you probably will want to prime them with a the spray paint anyway, so that your paint will stick. I used more super glue to stick the palm fronds to the top of the trunks. They just slide in place and stick to the top and to each other. Once I started putting the individual ones on the top though, I realised I had a bit of a problem. I hadn't bent them as well as perhaps I could have and I should have bent some upwards a bit more in the ring sections rather than just down. I can see the rings through those top palm fronds. So, and this is a reason why you always keep stuff when you're doing scenery. I have this palm tree coir apt because it's from a palm tree. I've had this in my stash for over 20 years and never used it before. But it came out and I was able to just super glue it into the middle and it hid all of those unsightly joins. Plus it's made from palm trees. Win-win. Now because the green I had was a little too bright and dark green rather than an olive green, I mixed together a yellow and a green to get a more olivey colour. These are oil paints because they spread nice and easily, but they do take a lot longer to dry. I painted all of the leaves with this mixed colour. You could just spray paint them in olive and avoid this whole step. But once I'd done that, I wanted to make sure that there were some brown areas. So I added in some extra brown and used that to do the trunks and then to put some brown dead leaves at the bottom because, you know, palms often have more dead leaves towards the base of their leaf area. I also used dilute white glue to make sure the coir was well and truly stuck. So with the trees done, it's time to turn our attention to the base. Now for this, I'm using mostly glue and sand because, you know, palm trees, sand. There is a little bit of a beige tile grout in here and I'd thrown that in because this is a mix I had from a different project, probably Tatooine. But I kind of lost it at this point. I overwatered. I should have just tipped some out. So I added more glue in and this became a very sloppy mix. Now because I, my tile grout is hidden away while I'm doing building works, I only had this small amount left. So I eventually mixed more and more tile grout in trying to get it thicker and thicker and gave up and dumped the whole lot in. And it was still really sloppy. 
They really should have just tipped that water out. The targa also brought, along with the sand, a little bit of lumpiness. So I tried spreading it and what I was planning to do was go around the edge like this and just let it set. And it's great, it's on a plastic bag, it would have come off. So if you've done a thicker mix, you could definitely do that. But instead, because this was so runny and I didn't want to mix anymore because I don't need it, I decided to let it just drip off. Now this is definitely another option. The key here is I'm trying to cover the sides of very thin 3D print. So I left it to drip overnight and then it is rock solid. So I was able just to sand off any drips that are dried underneath so it will sit nice and flat. But it needs a little bit more than just sand. Now my initial thought was I'll do static grass and that's what I started to do. But I decided I wanted to put coir underneath like there was a bit of debris coming off the palm trees they're tied into their base. And then I just kept trying to put more glue on and it came off and it, it was all sticking up in the air. So I put the static grass on, it stuck onto the sort of glue areas but it didn't stand up that much and it's a very long, it's a 12 mil grass and they realistically are hard to get to stand upright unless you hoover them upright. But I've got all that loose coir so I can't hoover it. So instead I went with plan B, a matted mess underneath that could be more in line with palm tree rather than grass. And to bed it all in I just added more sand. Now this is neat sand because my grout is hidden and I just put it on and went right up to the edge. To glue it I used isopropyl alcohol, diluted 99% isopropyl alcohol, about a third with two thirds water and then I dripped on about a third white glue to two thirds water. I made sure again I went right up to the edge and I, you can mop up any excess glue very easily by just sprinkling on extra sand. Now the key here is I needed the colour to match because the sand wasn't quite the same colour as the original sand which had tile grout in it. But once I was done I just left it to dry and drip again and I was happy how it came out. So this is it, the finished palm trees. Now the oil wash isn't 100% dry so I'm probably going to spray those trunks with a little bit of matte varnish when I'm done because they are just a little bit shiny. I'm not sure about the leaves though, I think I might leave them shiny. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below and if you've any other ideas pop them down there too. That's it for this video I hope you enjoyed it if you did consider subscribing hitting the bell button so you know when the next video is out and if you really enjoyed it then consider supporting me on patreon as a youtube channel member otherwise I'll keep producing the videos and I'll see you next time <laughs>